If you play Lord of the Rings Online, you deal with storage issues. So many items, so little storage space. You have a nice new cosmetic gear set? Great! Now you need to find a way to fit into it. How? Well, you can't. Storage management is a game within the game. It's not easy, but in this video we're going to give you some helpful tips as to how to make it easier. Weird Gaming Adventure. Go! Okay, let's not dilly nor dally. Let's get right into the meat of the topic. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boy. First of all, alts. Lots of alts. Give me all of the alts. Not only are alts a good source of Lotro points, but they're the primary source of inventory management. Every alt is a possible 192 slots of storage. If possible, expand each alt's vault to max and assign a category. So. One character is only crafting, others is consumables, others is cosmetic, and yeah, you, you get the idea. If you're really crazy in the crafting logistics, you can assign each character an alt and send them the corresponding crafting items for them to store. The second tip, or thing to do, houses. You don't have to pay for glorious housing. There are some cheap ones. It doesn't matter the size, they all have the same amount of storage. Although, Premium House gets an extra storage chest. That's, uh, that's real life money though. Vaults. I just touched on this when mentioning the alts, but this is going to be your bread and this is going to be your butter. It only costs gold. Bite the bullet and get the largest space possible. Gold eventually becomes close to worthless as you progress. Carry-alls, shared storage, and bag improvements. Now these, they're self-explanatory. If you're hardcore, there are some things that you may justify in actually paying for. VIP access can be helpful here too. Now, considering the fact that the game is mostly free nowadays, you'll eventually want to allocate some of those fancy Lotro points that you've been building up. These are good places to put those fancy Lotro points. Okay, getting closer for this one because this is a pro tip here, a kin house. This is a high level hack that many don't think about. Nothing stopping you from setting up a kinship and using the kin house for your storage. You've got all of those alts. You can have a kin house for all of them. You will have to wait a couple of months to be able to put a kin house up. So make sure that you get started today. The last tip is not something that you can get in game. It's out of game. It's your mind. It's your mind set as in change it. Change your mindset. You have to let go of things. As you wish. Follow me. Give the ring to Frodo. I can not. If I have no immediate use for something, I just sell it. <laughs> Trust me, I'm obsessive compulsive and it truly hurts me to do so, but it's really not worth keeping. There's a million of everything in a million different places in Lotro. Lotro is not a game that you just rush to the end. You'll be playing it for a long time and on a lot of characters. It's okay to let go. Check the wiki for info on items that you don't know. And if they're nothing great, toss them in an auction or sell the vendors for some coin. Get used to using the filter options. Get used to using the auction house. Use plugins if you're into that sort of thing. Don't let stuff stress you out. I, I say that fully aware that I am a huge hypocrite. And at that, I'll take my leave. If you like what you heard, like it. Maybe hit subscribe for weekly Lutro content. I'm Joshua with Weird Gaming Adventure and we at Weird Gaming Adventure we love you in a weird way. See you in the next video, my kin.